This is the feminist cultural appropriator. Nice to meet you. Tired of people telling me it's cultural appropriation. Just because I care about some places, that's my parents' nation. I'm a proud Latina, travel to unravel truth, throw a sense of superiority. Not all we do, because with my story, they don't know where DR is. We're limited by what we see, so I don't take it as a diss. Adapting doesn't have to be a hit or miss. We're no conquistadoras, we've been culture, the injustice kiss. My name is Spanish, but it's also a Gushta Kikares. We in the field, ethnographic, which alarms these lawless. Learn the language of the sounds, just like a broken faucet. No one could stop it or hear me run, don't know how to pause it. Outside is not like Johnny, got triple citizenship. Lost my passport on this trip, but learned the embassy was lit. Their library died inside, so don't see the world through slip. Read the way our research gives the ha ha hallucinogenic hit. We were hit with a reality clutch. I'm talking triple the luck, triple the luck. I'm Pandora's box from Bianca, the Megan Fox link, the Milton box of a patriarchal complex. The complex process, which then don't have to confess. Expect nothing less than macho read, flex till those muscles flex. Hypertrophy with empathy, Laya, show me the same for me as this for you. When my girl Maya Angelou puts her world purple blue. They are renewable, gentle cycles of violence. Tumble dry till they're silent. Priceless, but had the billion to mark this. Gabriel Garcia Marquez taught us to rewrite this. Before they say dice this, we say sir surmise this. Need alternative stories like Howard Sins. Her story surpassing Hamilton, Starry Lynn, Yankee reconstructs, mutants law real akin to reality. We can pin, pin down our era's feminism with a parallax. Now, nah, not till Faceta and Amanda packing facts on the backs of shopkeepers who seem all relaxed. About their clothes, women's washrooms, my girls cut no slack. The attack opened doors more like Spanish and more. Reach a compromise before the battle of the war. Remember that little girl in my store who followed us in after we rebelled? Helped us see our wins in small leaps. No repel when we met a potential. I said, shut my bed. Made on a woman hit, and my name's not for sale. Woo! It can't be appropriated. Just like the only culture we appropriate is the culture of respect. We're not vultures of the text, extracting, redacting, scavenging, ravishing data like we made a mark in the shape of ourselves instead of the Fulbright papers on the shelves. Hi, this was the feminist cultural appropriator. It was nice to meet you. Spiritual. 
neutrality gets back to my rebuilding. What we building, huh? Nicole, what's the real to women's empowerment underground? More than echoes and home theaters like so neat surround? In their heads, voice competes, take a leak, and they're done. Your Renee, toxic waste, out a gender of some. Roll out like Roz and Abuela come on your mess. Roll out right down to the ground like with Sandra Bland. And I stand corrected like injected in your grammarly. When I start ignoring slurs, though they matter to me. Get Sam Marie rapping lyrics, carrying physics in my cords. Judge for wielding my machete amid two war swords. You said two war? No. Indian sword. Oh, uh, I, cause the war's already begun. My last rap unwrapped, why the box has gotta be Pandora's. One mother sacred as the scriptures pour, another Torah while so much more. Then some hard druggies are so forth when they try to pin us down. Donkey's tailing of our aura, cabin on out at the truth, blurring it like bitches spin us. Claim it's a witch hunt, which what they smoke and they the winners. Of legal power struggles, victimizing like we sin us. While swiping Wall Street credit left and right like they on Tinka. Linger. Cause Shiva can't function without Shakti Temple's keeping us up cause the blood shocked me Apparitions from the past most and can't block me Unlike the megabytes consume no net neutrality My name's Sake and Amber, Jurassic Party Trapping time and rupees sign when most plugs be Chicken bones got rickets as we rock the seat Rosa Parks and Leela Seth helping set us free Kayla's virtues help vent diabetic seat Following in the footsteps, our girls AOC Jeff Holland, Trent and Zeph, Diana Presley Mommy, we're like that chichiwa. The pipe, kite puppy got me, right? We can fly, no strings attached. Right, mommy? Right, mommy? Right, right, mommy? Thank you. This is Umbar's first time performing spoken word rap in front of any audience. Right. So I think you have a bright future if, if, uh, if all of uh, the rest of the career doesn't work out. So, um, but what I wanted to say was, um, you know, because this is your first time performing um, kind of on this kind of a stage, you had mentioned that you have quite a bit of inspiration to... Uh, or such passion that you want to bring these ideas to light or these um, opinions that you have and kind of like a desire to share um, that to overcome. And you also mentioned she has sizable stage fright. I mean, I can't tell, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but um, that to overcome those things, you, you draw from quite a bit of inspiration. Can you expand upon those? Yeah, Kayla, um, a lot of things piss me off. <laughs> um, so rage is a major motivator, um, especially in a world where the maxim is true that the greatest battle you're going to fight in your life is to try to be your truly yourself in a world where everyone's trying to make you anything but. And including when you hear a lot of like, you're too much, too much energy, you're too loud or too sensitive. Um, and then also, on the other hand, um, don't be so angry, especially as a woman, don't be another angry feminist or um, as a woman of color, don't be the stereotype of a feisty Latina. Mm. And it, <laughs> it hearkens me to Immortal Technique, one of my favorite rappers and um, whose instrumental I use. Oh, we got some fans yeah, in the audience. Yeah, <laughs> Um, and he talks a lot about rage, and he talks about the collective um, genetic memory that we all have and that we've all been, at some point, if you go far down enough in the line, uh, a product of rape and destruction and conquest. And that when we destroy, um, we're just raping, like raping ourselves. And he talks about um, rage as a way of expression and as a way of coping with all these contradictions that we see. And I think there's also this selective amnesia where uh, we forget that anger and indignation is what sparked a lot of human rights movements to happen, the civil rights and, and women's yes. rights, and you know, not being complacent and having that rage. So that a lot of all that inspires me. Yeah, wonderful. Well, I mean, you also mentioned a little bit more about the style, specific rappers or kind of um, genres that you've actually kind of fused together to 
really like, also really, give you, yeah. Yeah, I started really late in life appreciating hip hop because I thought it was all wrapped up in like misogyny and all this like unwanted aggression. Um, but I got into a lot of conscious rappers like Immortal Technique, um, Alyssa Marie, um, and you know, I, I love. Um, Lee Manuel Miranda was a big inspiration yeah. before Hamilton. There was In the Heights, <laughs> and um, I love that you can put so many multiple meanings in rap um, that you can't do otherwise. So many metaphors, um, so much like aggression, and I love also that you can be that contradiction, um, especially if you're told that your voice. Because when you get really excited, you talk like this. Um, your voice isn't meant to be a rapper's voice, and you should stick to spoken word. Uh, hence me calling the spoken word um, and just, you know, defying those limitations or those contradictions and embracing those authentic parts of yourself, whether it be anger or your high pitch or whatever it is. Uh, I think we all are so thank you. Let's give a warm